things. This presentation discusses about the various hand filing techniques used in cleaning and shaping. Let's start with patency filing. This was first described by Buchner. It is the purposeful placement of a small sized file, say a number 8 or number 10k file, beyond the minor diameter at the apex for about 0.2 to 0.5 mm without widening it. It prevents packing of debris in the apical part of the canal and helps to achieve good apical clearance. It also helps to prevent the loss of working length during instrumentation. One important concept in preparing curved canals is the anti-curvature file. It helps to avoid strip perforations and canal transportation. The concept is to prepare a straight line axis through the root canal to the apical region by filing away the bulky root structure to create a displacement space and not touching the thin root walls which are in danger of being perforated. Now let's see the various hand filing motions used for canal instrumentation. Let's talk about the reaming motion first. Reaming is defined as clockwise cutting rotation of the file. Generally, the instrument is placed into the canal until binding is encountered. The instrument is then rotated clockwise in a 180 to 360 degree to plane the walls and enlarge the canal space. Another motion similar to reaming is the filing motion. Filing is defined as placing the file into the canal and pressing it laterally while withdrawing it along the path of insertion to scrape the wall. There is very little rotation on the outward cutting stroke. A modification of this technique is the turn pull technique. This involves placing the file into the point of binding, rotating the instrument 90 degree and pulling the instrument along the canal wall. Another technique commonly used is the watch winding motion. Watch winding is reciprocating back and forth that is clockwise and counterclockwise rotation of the instrument in, in an arch. It is used to negotiate canal and to work files to place. Light apical pressure is applied to move the file deeper into the canal. Next is the circumferential filing. Circumferential filing is used for canals that are larger and not round. The file is placed in the canal and withdrawn in a directional manner sequentially against the mesial, distal, buccal and lingual walls. Now let's see another type of uh, file motion named as envelope of motion. It is used in cases where there is restricted dentin in the canal. It is done by inserting a pre curved file in the canal and rotating it uh, in clockwise direction and it is then removed. By doing this, the restricted dentin in the canal will be removed and it will allow space for further advancement of the file. The motion is then repeated until the canal becomes free of all restrictions. Next we will see the balanced force technique. It is done by first inserting the instrument into the canal by moving clockwise with one quarter turn. Then to cut dentin, the file is rotated counterclockwise simultaneously pushing apically. Finally, the file is removed by rotating clockwise, simultaneously pulling the instrument out of the canal. Generally, K-files are used for this. Simultaneous apical pressure and anti-clockwise rotation offers efficient dentin cutting and provide balance between two structure removal and elastic memory of the instrument. By this, we have completed various hand filing techniques. In the upcoming video, we will discuss about various techniques in root canal preparation. Thank you.